Hey folks, Malforan here, and welcome back to the Elf Destiny mod for Crusader Kings 3. If you weren't here for the last episode, yes, we lost Scotland slash Alba now, but in this episode, immediately, we're going to be declaring war on our liege and trying to take that title back. So our claims, let's see how well we do. Can we call in the King of England? Let's have a look. Yes, we can. Amazing. <laughs> there we go. We're going to pay the prestige. It's fine, because if we can call in the King of England, we've basically won this war. We've just got to avoid his army for now. And then as soon as the king arrives, we'll win this and we'll claim our throne back. So who would have thought a king of England helping a king of Scotland to regain his throne? But they should be heading up here. I don't think they're in any other wars. Oh, no, they are. They just had a war declared on them. Oh, no, that means he might not send troops for a while. Okay, we're going to have to just avoid fighting him for a while. Although we do have 2,600 troops. Actually, we have more troops than him already. If we do lose this fight, we know we've got some goodness coming in the near future. Right, let's just attack him though. Oh, our wife is pregnant. Fantastic. We can start getting some alliances going. Oh, look, we're going to win anyway. We didn't even have to call him in, guys. I got ahead of myself there and thought we would have to. Let's just siege down our old capital. Let's get it back. Well, this is going to be a very good start to this episode. Now, before we take the throne... We should go on another expedition. Can we do that though whilst we're at war? Yes, we should do this now because as soon as we become a king, these will immediately cost more money. So we're going to do one more. I'm going to see if anything good comes out of this. Oh no, we can't do them for six more months. Oh well, we're going to win this war first. Well, it's fine then. We just won't do them. That would have been a good idea. If we could have done it, it would have been a good idea because we can pay the cheaper amount. I guess I'd rather be a king than wait six months to do one, so... We'll just siege this down. We'll attack his army one more time. Do you know what? We're going to relatively easily win this. And I guess ultimately the King of England might turn up in the end and help us, but... Oh, we won. Do we capture him? Oh no, we captured his son, I think. Amazing. We've got our uh, son here, Duncan. Look at that. We won the war and we got a son at the same time. As I cradled my newborn child, Duncan, the ecstatic joys mixed with sadness and a sting of fear crawling up my spine. Were my parents cradling me like this before they both passed away? When I was still young, leaving me alone, is this a curse? Will the world rob my sweetheart child of his parents as I did? So yeah, we never got to play as his father. He was obviously our initial heir on our first character. He died, so we ended up playing as his son. The world is a cruel place for a child. It is. We are sadistic, so we know all about that. Anyway, we have won this war. We have taken Alba back. Thank you very much. We are now a mighty king. We have Scotland back. It has changed name once again. And we have taken this back. So can we move our capital here? Move realm capital. Yep, let's get back here. Let's get back to our seat of power. Nominate succession. So yeah, he did change it to being a tanistry succession, which is unfortunate because I think if we start converting people, our vassals are always going to choose people who aren't an allure and weaver. Like we're going to try vote for this guy. We'll see. But at least we can choose who we want as our heir now. So if we have the same problem as this time where our primary heir was Catholic, we can choose somebody else instead, which is a lot better. And here we go. It finally happened. Our rival, the person who undid our grandfather's work. We did eventually beat him and get the realm back, but he has finally died. The Duke has met his fate. He is no longer with us. Does his son like us? No, he hates us anyway. <laughs> look, at all these, look at all these modifiers he's got. Not a good time. Should we end the feud? What is this nonsense? Yeah, let's just say that. Oh no, we've had war declared on us once again. Oh, it's this chap? Do you know what? I kind of want to get rid of these lands over here. Rally the troops. Oh, I think he's going to take all of it. Yes, he is. Do we want to try fight this off? He's got so many troops. I'm going to surrender this. Surrender. I'm just going to say take it, which is unfortunate. This is where the great portal is and all the other cool stuff, but we cannot win that fight and it's so far away from the rest of our lands. We can avenge that with our elven Scotland. Right. Well, as we have some money, I think it's time to expand into Ireland, I think, once again. Now, let's declare war on you. Well, we'll see how many troops you have. Yeah, this is going to be a, an easy enough war, I think. Let's go for it. We'll see, though. Maybe he called in his allies. He did. He called in the, uh, the prince down here. Should we spend some money to call the King of England in? Do you know what? I think I'm going to do this because I definitely want to win this war. It's going to be a lot of uh, prestige to do so, but if we win the war, we'll get that prestige back, so... I think it's worth doing it again this time. I think we might have won anyway, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to lose this. He does have 3,300, and then we have 2,000. So yeah, if he brought his entire army, we would lose. So I think bringing in the king, he can help us. We'll win this war. We'll get our prestige back from winning it. He's actually going to just attack his army immediately. 
which is fantastic. Are you going to catch him? You are. So our ally here has just wiped their army. Fantastic. We've won this war. We're going to siege down his castle here and we're going to win this. And then Connor, we can come after you. We can try reclaim this and turn it back into the lands of Scotland. 91%. We are going to win this war any second though. In fact, he's going to attack us again. We definitely won that fight. And there we go. 100%. We have won this war. Let's enforce these demands. And there we go. The King of Scotland heading back into Ireland. We can attack you again. I don't know what kind of claims we have. Oh, we can actually holy war him. Oh, because he is an Aluren Weaver. <laughs> I kind of feel bad doing that though, because we want to switch back to that religion. So I don't think we will do it as a holy war. Deep down inside, we are an Aluren Weaver still. So now we can actually go on that activity and do the better version of it. So that was well worth just waiting a little bit of time. It does say it's going to be risky. Do we have to pay for some guards? I mean, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So Joe, we're just going to do it. Let's risk it. And then we'll pay for the additional people. So we've got more days being there. So we should hopefully be able to find either a tradition or, to be honest, even a weapon, I guess we could sell. And here we are. We are at the expedition. We have our wife here, Queen Mary. Oh no, Julia Melwood died. No, she's finally gone, guys. I mean, she's only 59. She died of pneumonia. I mean, we're always going to remember Julia. She did show us that we were actually an elf which is great. Oh, this guy's actually got some cool buffs. He's pure-blooded and he has a special bloodline as well. That's awesome. Can we try and marry into his thing? Oh, our aunt is actually married to him. Amazing. We did probably set that up ages ago now in like the first episode and I just don't remember. Trial of Prowess. Okay, we're trying this again. So again, he has 10 Prowess. He now has 35 Prowess. Come on, Ronald. You've got to win this time. Yes, he did. Fantastic. And then, yeah, we did find a cultural improvement. So... We can get adventurer guilds. Expeditions cost less gold, have a better chance of making major discoveries, and grant additional eager adventurer trade experience. Unlocks the Varengian Adventure Cassus Belli during the tribal era. We can get beast tamers, which gives us wolf riders and mosswood dragoons. I kind of want that. I kind of want to have a crazy elven army, so that would be awesome. A totem, tribal ascension, will change government of the realm to ascended tribal. Ascended tribal realms can have the advantage of both tribal and feudal governments. Unlike tribal governments, they do not suffer from reduced county development, can travel past tribal era innovations, can construct new holdings, and can unlock additional levels of all tribal buildings, and are able to change their succession law. Like tribal, however, they will use prestige rather than gold to build their realms, and hire men at arms, and can access Cassus Belli's compared to feudal realms. I kind of want to do this, guys. This basically makes us the best of both worlds. Because using prestige instead of gold for our armies is fantastic. That's always going to give us more gold, basically. I think we're going to do this one. It just sounds really cool. It's also something really different from everything else. This one will give us Fey Agroras. Characters of this culture will automatically gain shrewd at 15 learning and rational at 20 learning, which is pretty good. Do you know what? I've got to take this. We've got to take tribal ascension. It just sounds so cool. <laughs> sounds awesome. I love it. I really like this, like a really special one. And we did find a minor discovery, 25 gold. Well, not the worst. A weapon would actually be better because we could sell that for more gold than that. And we did find a weapon, so there we go. Tribal Ascension, my elven people have collectively reached a profound understanding. The ways that have served us for all memory are not just sufficient, but a perfected gift given by generational refinements of our ancestors. We will advance not through adapting the ways of ignorant castle dwellers, but by living our ideals to a new level. Our might will be known and feared by all. Booga booga, my brothers. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Finish expedition. Fantastic. So there we go. We are now ascended tribals. We do have to still work our way through these, I guess. Yeah, we must do. I do love the fact we are ascended tribals. That's awesome. I actually really like that. I'm glad we did that now. The other ones sound cool. I really want to get the army one. That would be awesome because then we can just have an all elven army, which I think would be pretty cool to expand with. But for now, I'm happy enough getting this because then we can stay tribal. Does that mean we can still raid as well? Oh, we can still raid. Oh, that is good. Well, there we go. Anyway, um, we do have gold and prestige, so I guess we're going to attack you now. Oh no, we can only do those holy wars, which like I say, I don't really want to do. Although, to be honest, we could do it and then... You know, when we switch back over, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. We are still expanding our realm. And to be honest, I think that is what we're going to do. I think we're going to attack him anyway. And we're going to use Holy Wars, unfortunately. 
not ideal, is it? We are craven, we are sadistic. I think we would be thinking, look, it's a way to expand our realm. We'll bring you back under the fold. We're going to use Holy War as the pretense for it. And then ultimately, we're going to convert to your faith anyway. So let's just do it. Let's just rationalize that to ourselves and then expand our realm into Ireland. But for now, we'll siege this down and then we'll head further west as well. Right, let's just siege his capital down. We've taken this. We'll travel through this county. We'll get to Mayo. We'll siege that down. He is sieging down land in our realm, but if we can get his capital, we've basically guaranteed we'll win this at that point. He'll probably come to us as well. We have got a faction. Let's have a look. Somebody wants to be installed as king. Funnily enough, they are Allure and Weaver, so I kind of wouldn't mind this happening, but obviously we're not going to do it because... We would obviously lose our throne if it did happen. But we are going to have to watch out for that. It probably will get declared on us. We're at 77%. Let's go attack his army. We have got less troops than him, but I believe in our Fey archers. I think they're going to do some damage to them. I think we should win this fight. Yes, we will do. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, we actually stole his banner as well. Amazing, yeah. And we've won the war. So we took the rest of Ulster off him. And the next fight we do, we'll take some of this as well. Okay, and here we go. This is the in for getting our heir to be an Allure and Weaver when we play as him, we can have our Spy Master try and convert our child into an Allure and Weaver. Let's do it, because then when we play as him, he will be an Allure and Weaver. So we just need to basically get through this character. If we can't convert ourselves, we know our son will be an Allure and Weaver, or hopefully will be anyway. So yeah, as I said, we're going to go on another expedition, as we've got the money to do so, I think. Oh, we just have the money to do it. Sure, let's risk it anyway. Yeah, let's just do one. We do live here. So again, we're going to go back to this one that we just went to. So we'll just do a short one this time. If we don't get anything good, next time we'll just save up the money and do the better version. As all our armies are using prestige now, we should be able to build up money relatively quickly. Because obviously we're not using the gold to sustain our armies anymore. We can be using that to do expeditions. We can use that to build up our buildings and other things like that as well. Okay, let's go into the expedition itself. Ooh, the Trial of Cunning. You enter a grand chamber. Across the room from you stands a statue of fine white marble depicting an elf maiden. Between you and the floor looks like some kind of board game. You notice carvings depicting a variety of figures. Seems like you need to play a game of some sort to pass the trial. As you take a step forward, you are surprised when the maiden begins to move. She gives you a pretty smile and sends you a clear message. Your move. Okay, our highest entry character is terrible and their advice is going to be she's going to choose the knight. Now, he is bad at being a high entry character, so do we believe that she's going to play this? I guess we don't really know. None of this gives us an advantage, really. So he's saying she's going to choose knight. I guess we'll just go with that and say that that is going to be what happens. Your opponent won the round. We lost. <laughs> says you're going to choose the peasant. Let's just go with what he says. We lost the round as well gonna choose peasant again that isn't even one of the options <laughs> that's how bad you are you're choosing an option that isn't even there <laughs> oh wait no she is gonna play peasant so we need to play one that beats peasant okay i don't understand how this works oh knight bait peasant last time we don't have knight so i'm gonna go with bandit no <laughs> She's going to choose king. I guess I'll choose queen. Oh, we won that round. Well, I mean, we're still going to lose, I think. She's going to choose king. Well, we've got rid of queen, so I guess we'll try play king again. And we lost. <laughs> okay, I understand how that works a little bit more now. I didn't realize they kind of matched. So, like, king beat queen, knight beat peasant. We know for the future. Anyway, we got 25 gold out of it. So, yeah, that was a total waste of time. Let's head home. Look at our queen. She doesn't look happy, does she? But... Look, we did the best we could. The first time we've had that event, so we've learned from it and we'll do better next time, I promise. Okay, let's go raiding. There we go. We'll raise our army over here. Is that our, all our troops? Oh, no, some of them are here. Okay. Let's meet up down here. Oh, England's actually expanded even further down here. Oh, somebody declare war on us immediately. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we won't do raiding. I guess we'll fight off this war for the rest of this episode. And then next episode, we'll go raiding. We'll use the gains from that to do some other fun things as well. And um, yeah, we're still going to try to go over Ireland. That should be relatively easy for us now. And then we'll head into Wales and then England's going to be an interesting one. Oh, they actually lost a bit of England to France, which is pretty crazy. Let's fight this guy off though. Again, this should be relatively easy. We could... Hello. Okay, let's just fight him. If it goes badly, we can just call in England and we'll win the next war anyway. Oh, we've beaten them anyway. Doesn't matter. 
There we go. 16%. Where did he come from? Oh, down here. He actually came from Wales. Interesting. Is it you? No, it's you. I'm just going to go straight to your capital and siege it down. I think that's going to be the quickest way to get this war ended. We have got a potential rebellion in 24 months. Wants to be King of Scotland still. It doesn't matter, guys. We're going to fight this off and then we'll be able to destroy you anyway. We'll probably build up our army enough that they won't attack us anyway, so it'll be fine. And to be honest, we'll probably white piece this war. What do we get if we enforce demands? 141 gold. Double our money, to be honest. We'll see how much percentage this gives us. Because if it gives us enough to just white piece it, then we'll probably just end the war. I don't really want to drag this on more than we have to. Oh, doesn't matter. We captured his son, so we've won. So we are getting that 142 gold. Fantastic. There we go. We've got 335 gold. We could definitely do an expedition, a really good one actually, next episode. And then we will go raiding anyway. I think we've got to, to celebrate our ascended tribalism. I think it's just going to be a cool thing to do. As an ascended tribe, go raiding, pick up some stuff got 2,000 troops. I mean, we could probably go raiding maybe Galicia. Actually, they've all got a lot of troops, so maybe the southern bit of Iberia. Yeah, we might just come around here and siege down what we can. And then once we get back, we will invest some of this gold. We'll build up our forces. Oh, actually, speaking of, before we end the episode, we will actually make these a little bit bigger. They are costing us prestige, which we have plenty of. Well, I say that. We don't actually have enough to build any more of these. Oh, yeah, 74. I was looking at piety. So yeah, going raiding is going to get us more prestige. And then we'll just keep doing more wars, get more and more prestige. We can actually spend some of this gold on doing some activities that aren't expeditions. We could go on a university visit, or we could do a hunt or something, or a pilgrimage. Build up some more prestige and things. And then we can use that to build up our army. And we can kind of use that cycle to just keep building up our men at arms. And then we can really build up our strength. But anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. As always, hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new here. I play Crusader Kings. I cover the dev diaries, news, all that good stuff. But on that note, I'll see you in the next one.